Kenya lies on the East Africa coast, bordered by the Indian Ocean and Somalia to the east, Ethiopia and South Sudan to the north, and Uganda and Tanzania, west and south respectively. While the eastern half of the country slopes to coral-fringed beaches, the western side rises sharply to the hills and plateaus of the Rift Valley. West of the Rift, a plateau drops down to Lake Victoria. Kenya, country in East Africa famed for its scenic landscapes and vast wildlife preserves. Its Indian Ocean coast provided historically important ports by which goods from Arabian and Asian traders have entered the continent for many centuries. Along that coast, which holds some of the finest beaches in Africa, are predominantly Muslim Swahili cities such as Mombasa, a historic center that has contributed much to the musical and culinary heritage of the country. Inland are populous highlands famed for both their tea plantations, an economic staple during the British colonial era, and their variety of animal species, including lions, elephants, cheetahs, rhinoceroses, and hippopotamuses. Kenya's western provinces, marked by lakes and rivers, are forested, while a small portion of the north is desert and semi-desert. The country's diverse wildlife and panoramic geography draw large numbers of European and North American visitors, and tourism is an important contributor to Kenya's economy. The capital of Kenya is Nairobi, a sprawling city that, like many other African metropolises, is a study in contrasts, with modern skyscrapers looking out over vast shanty towns in the distance, many harboring refugees fleeing civil wars in neighboring countries. Older neighborhoods, some of them prosperous, tend to be ethnically mixed and well served by utilities and other amenities, while the tents and hastily assembled shacks that ring the city tend to be organized tribally and even locally, inasmuch as in some instances whole rural villages have removed themselves to the more promising city. With a long history of musical and artistic expression, Kenya enjoys a rich tradition of oral and written literature, including many fables that speak to the virtues of determination and perseverance, important and widely shared values, given the country's experience during the struggle for independence. Kenya's many peoples are well known to outsiders, largely because of the British colonial administration's openness to study. Anthropologists and other social scientists have documented for generations the lives of the Mase, Luya, Luo, Kalenjin, and Kikuyu peoples, to name only some of the groups. Adding to the country's ethnic diversity are European and Asian immigrants from many nations. Kenyans proudly embrace their individual cultures and traditions, yet they are also cognizant of the importance of national solidarity, a motto of Harambi, Swahili, pulling together, has been stressed by Kenya's government since independence. Kenya, officially the Republic of Kenya, Swahili, Jamhuri Ya Kenya, is a country in East Africa. A member of the Commonwealth with a population of more than 47.6 million in the 2019 census, Kenya is the 28th most populous country in the world and 7th most populous in Africa. Kenya's capital and largest city is Nairobi, while its oldest and second largest city, which until 1907 was also Kenya's first capital city, is the coastal city of Mombasa which includes Mombasa Island in the Indian Ocean and the surrounding mainland. Kisumu is the third largest city and also an inland port in the Wainam Gulf which, along with its numerous bays and human settlements, is one of the important maritime transport, fishing, farming, commercial, history and tourism hubs on Lake Victoria. As of 2020, Kenya is the third largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria and South Africa. Kenya is bordered by South Sudan to the northwest, Ethiopia to the north, Somalia to the east, Uganda to the west, Tanzania to the south, and the Indian Ocean to the southeast. Its geography, climate, and population vary widely, ranging from cold snow-capped mountain tops, Bassian, Nelian and Point Lenin on Mount Kenya, with vast surrounding forests, wildlife, and fertile agricultural regions to temperate climates in western and rift valley counties and further on to dry less fertile arid and semi-arid areas and absolute deserts, Chalbai Desert and Nuri Desert. Numerous disputes between the UK and the colony led to the Mau Mau Revolution, which began in 1952, and the Declaration of Independence in 1963. 
After independence, Kenya remained a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. The current constitution was adopted in 2010 and replaced the 1963 independence constitution. Kenya is a presidential representative democratic republic, in which elected officials represent the people and the president is the head of state and government. Kenya is a member of the United Nations, Commonwealth of Nations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund, CUMSA, International Criminal Court, as well as other international organizations. With a GNI of 1,840, Kenya is a lower middle income economy. Kenya's economy is the largest in Eastern and Central Africa, with Nairobi serving as a major regional commercial hub. 20. Agriculture is the largest sector, tea and coffee are traditional cash crops, while fresh flowers are a fast-growing export. The service industry is also a major economic driver, particularly tourism. Kenya is a member of the East African Community Trade Bloc, though some international trade organizations categorize it as part of the Greater Horn of Africa. Africa is Kenya's largest export market, followed by the European Union. The Republic of Kenya is named after Mount Kenya. The earliest recorded version of the modern name was written by German explorer Johann Ludwig Krapf in the 19th century. While traveling with a Kamba caravan led by the long-distance trader Chief Kiboy, Krapf spotted the mountain peak and asked what it was called. Bisected horizontally by the equator and vertically by longitude 38 degrees east, Kenya is bordered to the north by South Sudan and Ethiopia, to the east by Somalia and the Indian Ocean, to the south by Tanzania, and to the west by Lake Victoria and Uganda. The Kenyan coast had served as host to communities of iron workers and Bantu subsistence farmers, hunters, and fishers who supported the economy with agriculture, fishing, metal production, and trade with foreign countries. These communities formed the earliest city-states in the region, which were collectively known as Azania. Swahili, a Bantu language with Arabic, Persian, and other Middle Eastern and South Asian loanwords, later developed as a lingua franca for trade between the different peoples. Since the turn of the 20th century, Swahili has adopted numerous loanwords and calques from English, many of them originating during English colonial rule. The Swahili built Mombasa into a major port city and established trade links with other nearby city states, as well as commercial centers in Persia, Arabia, and even India. At 580,367 square kilometers, 224,081 square miles, Kenya is the world's 47th largest country, after Madagascar. It lies between latitudes 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south, and longitudes 34 degrees and 42 degrees east. From the coast on the Indian Ocean, the low plains rise to central highlands which are bisected by the Great Rift Valley, and fertile plateaus lie on either side, around Lake Victoria and to the east. The Kenyan highlands are one of the most successful agricultural production regions in Africa. The highlands are the site of the highest point in Kenya and the second highest peak on the continent, Mount Kenya, which reaches a height of 5,199 meters 17,057 feet and is the site of glaciers. Mount Kilimanjaro, 5,895 m or 19,341 feet, can be seen from Kenya to the south of the Tanzanian border. Kenya has considerable land area devoted to wildlife habitats, including the Maasai Mara, where blue wildebeest and other bovids participate in a large-scale annual migration. More than 1 million wildebeest and 200,000 zebras participate in the migration across the Mara River. The big five game animals of Africa, that is the lion, leopard, buffalo, rhinoceros, and elephant, can be found in Kenya and in the Maasai Mara in particular. A significant population of other wild animals, reptiles, and birds can be found in the national parks and game reserves in the country. The annual animal migration occurs between June and September, with millions of animals taking part, attracting valuable foreign tourism. 2 million wildebeest migrate a distance of 2,900 kilometers, 1,802 miles, from the Serengeti in neighboring Tanzania to the Maasai Mara in Kenya, in a constant clockwise fashion, searching for food and water supplies. 
This Serengeti migration of the wildebeest is listed among the seven natural wonders of Africa. Kenya had a 2019 Forest Landscape Integrity Index mean score of 4.2-10, ranking it 133rd globally out of 172 countries. Kenya is a presidential representative democratic republic with a multi-party system. The president is both the head of state and head of government. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the National Assembly and the Senate. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. There has been growing concern, especially during former President Daniel Arap Moi's tenure, that the executive was increasingly meddling with the affairs of the judiciary. Kenya has close ties with its fellow Swahili-speaking neighbors in the African Great Lakes region. Relations with Uganda and Tanzania are generally strong, as the three nations work toward economic and social integration through common membership in the East African community. Relations with Somalia have historically been tense, although there has been some military coordination against Islamist insurgents. Kenya has good relations with the United Kingdom. Kenya is one of the most pro-American nations in Africa, and the wider world. The Kenya Defense Forces are the armed forces of Kenya. The Kenya Army, Kenya Navy, and Kenya Air Force compose the National Defense Forces. The current Kenya Defense Forces were established, and its composition laid out, in Article 241 of the 2010 Constitution of Kenya, the KDF is governed by the Kenya Defense Forces Act of 2012. The President of Kenya is the Commander-in-Chief of all the armed forces. The armed forces are regularly deployed in peacekeeping missions around the world. Kenya is divided into 47 semi-autonomous counties that are headed by governors. These 47 counties form the first order divisions of Kenya. The smallest administrative units in Kenya are called locations. Locations often coincide with electoral wards. Locations are usually named after their central villages/towns. Many larger towns consist of several locations. Each location has a chief, appointed by the state. Constituencies are an electoral subdivision, with each county comprising a whole number of constituencies. An interim boundaries commission was formed in 2010 to review the constituencies and in its report, it recommended the creation of an additional 80 constituencies. Previous to the 2013 elections, there were 210 constituencies in Kenya. Kenya's macroeconomic outlook has steadily posted robust growth over the past few decades mostly from road, rail, air, and water transport infrastructure projects as well as massive investments in information and communication technology. The economy has seen much expansion, seen by strong performance in tourism, higher education, and telecommunications, and decent post-drought results in agriculture, especially the vital tea sector. Tourism in Kenya is the second largest source of foreign exchange revenue following agriculture. The Kenya Tourism Board is responsible for maintaining information pertaining to tourism in Kenya. The main tourist attractions are photo safaris through the 60 national parks and game reserves. Other attractions include the wildebeest migration at the Mesa Amara, which is considered to be the seventh wonder of the world, historical mosques, and colonial-era forts at Mombasa, Malindi, and Lamu, renowned scenery such as the white-capped Mount Kenya and the Great Rift Valley, tea plantations at Kiriko, coffee plantations at Tika, a splendid view of Mount Kilimanjaro across the border into Tanzania, and the beaches along the Swahili coast, in the Indian Ocean. Tourists, the largest number being from Germany and the United Kingdom, are attracted mainly to the coastal beaches and the game reserves, notably, the expansive East and Tsavo West National Park, 20,808 square kilometers, 8,034 square miles, to the southeast. Agriculture is the second largest contributor to Kenya's gross domestic product, GDP, after the service sector. In 2005, agriculture, including forestry and fishing, accounted for 24% of GDP, as well as for 18% of wage employment and 50% of revenue from exports. The principal cash crops are tea, horticultural produce, and coffee. 
Horticultural produce and tea are the main growth sectors and the two most valuable of all of Kenya's exports. The production of major food staples such as corn is subject to sharp weather-related fluctuations. Production downturns periodically necessitate food aid for example in 2004, due to one of Kenya's intermittent droughts. Kenya is the world's third largest exporter of cut flowers to speed their export, Nairobi Airport has a terminal dedicated to the transport of flowers and vegetables. Kenya also has a cement production industry. Kenya has an oil refinery that processes imported crude petroleum into petroleum products, mainly for the domestic market. In addition, a substantial and expanding informal sector commonly referred to as JUA Kali engages in small-scale manufacturing of household goods, auto parts, and farm implements. The country has an extensive network of paved and unpaved roads. Kenya's railway system links the nation's ports and major cities, connecting it with neighboring Uganda. There are 15 airports which have paved runways. The largest share of Kenya's electricity supply comes from geothermal energy 180 followed by hydroelectric stations at dams along the upper Tana River, as well as the Turquoise Gorge Dam in the west. A petroleum-fired plant on the coast, geothermal facilities at Olkaria, near Nairobi, and electricity imported from Uganda make up the rest of the supply. A 2000 MW power line from Ethiopia is nearing completion. Kenya has proven deposits of oil in Turkana. Tulo Oil estimates the country's oil reserves to be around 1 billion barrels. Exploration is still continuing to determine whether there are more reserves. Kenya currently imports all crude petroleum requirements. In 2007, the Kenyan government unveiled Vision 2030 an economic development program it hopes will put the country in the same league as the Asian Economic Tigers by 2030. To mitigate this problem, the mobile banking service M-Pesa was launched in 2007 by Vodafone and Safaricom, in collaboration from the Financial Deepening Challenge Fund competition established by the UK government's Department for International Development. M-Pesa allows users to deposit, withdraw, transfer money, pay for goods and services, LIPA NA M-PESA, access credit and savings, all with a mobile device, has provided access to digital transactions to millions of Kenyans in poverty situation. Kenya had a population of approximately 48 million in January 2017. The country has a young population, with 73% of residents under 30 because of rapid population growth from 2.9 million to 40 million inhabitants over the last century. Nairobi is home to Kaibara, one of the world's largest slums. The shanty town is believed to house between 170,000 and 1 million people. The Ankara base in Dadaab in the north houses around 500,000. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, in 2019, Kenya had a total population of 47,564,296. The largest native ethnic groups were the Kikuyu, 8,148,668, Luya, 6,823,842, Kalenjin, 6,358,113, Lugo, 5,066,966, Kamba, 4,663,910, Somali, 2,780,502, Kisi, 2,703,235, Majikenda, 2,488,691, Meru, 1,975,869, Masai, 1,189,522, and Turkana, 1,016,174. The northeastern province of Kenya, formerly known as NFD, is predominantly inhabited by the indigenous ethnic Somalis. Foreign rooted populations include Arabs, Asians, and Europeans. Kenya's ethnic groups typically speak their mother tongues within their own communities. The two official languages, English and Swahili, 
are used in varying degrees of fluency for communication with other populations. English is widely spoken in commerce, schooling, and government. Periurban and rural dwellers are less multilingual, with many in rural areas speaking only their native languages. Most Kenyans are Christian, 85.5%, with 53.9% Protestant and 20.6% Roman Catholic. The Presbyterian Church of East Africa has 3 million followers in Kenya and surrounding countries. Islam is the second largest religion, comprising 10.9% of the population. Healthcare is largely funded by private individuals and their families or employers through direct payments to healthcare providers, to the National Health Insurance Fund or to medical insurance companies. Additional funding comes from local, international, and some government social safety net schemes. Public hospitals are fee-for-service establishments that generate large amounts of county and national government revenues making them highly political and corrupt enterprises. Private health facilities are diverse, highly dynamic, and difficult to classify, unlike public health facilities, which are easily grouped in classes that consist of community-based, level I, services, run by community health workers, dispensaries, level II facilities, run by nurses, health centers, level 3 facilities, run by clinical officers, sub-county hospitals, level 4 facilities, which may be run by a clinical officer or a medical officer, county hospitals, level V facilities, which may be run by a medical officer or a medical practitioner, and national referral hospitals, level 6 facilities, which are run by fully qualified medical practitioners. Nurses are by far the largest group of frontline health care providers in all sectors, followed by clinical officers, medical officers, and medical practitioners. Basic formal education starts at age 6 and lasts 12 years, consisting of 8 years in primary school and 4 in high school or secondary. Primary school is free in public schools and those attending can join a vocational youth-slash-village polytechnic, or make their own arrangements for an apprenticeship program and learn a trade such as tailoring, carpentry, motor vehicle repair, bricklaying, and masonry for about two years. Those who complete high school can join a polytechnic or other technical college and study for three years, or proceed directly to university and study for four years. Graduates from the polytechnics and colleges can then join the workforce and later obtain a specialized higher diploma qualification after a further one to two years of training, or join the university usually in the second or third year of their respective course. The higher diploma is accepted by many employers in place of a bachelor's degree and direct or accelerated admission to postgraduate studies is possible in some universities. Public universities in Kenya are highly commercialized institutions and only a small fraction of qualified high school graduates are admitted on limited government sponsorship into programs of their choice. Most are admitted into the social sciences, which are cheap to run, or as self-sponsored students paying the full cost of their studies. Most qualified students who miss out opt for middle-level diploma programs in public or private universities, colleges, and polytechnics. The culture of Kenya comprises multiple traditions. Kenya has no single prominent culture. It instead consists of the various cultures of the country's different communities. Notable populations include the Swahili on the coast, several other Bantu communities in the central and western regions, and Nilotic communities in the northwest. The Maasai culture is well known to tourism, despite constituting a relatively small part of Kenya's population. They are renowned for their elaborate upper body adornment and jewelry. Additionally, Kenya has an extensive music, television, and theater scene. Kenya has a number of media outlets that broadcast domestically and globally. They cover news, business, sports, and entertainment. Popular Kenyan newspapers include The Daily Nation, part of the Nation Media Group, NMG, largest market share. The Standard. The Star. The People. East Africa Weekly. Tefalio. Television stations based in Kenya include Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC. Citizen TV. Kenya Television Network, KTN. NTV, part of the Nation Media Group, 
NMG. KISS Television. K24 Television. CAST TV. All these terrestrial channels are transmitted via a DVB-T2 digital TV signal. And Guji W.A. Thiongo is one of Kenya's best-known writers. His novel Weep Not, Child depicts life in Kenya during the British occupation. The story details the effects of the Mau Mau on the lives of Kenyans. Its combination of themes colonialism, education, and love help make it one of the best-known African novels. Kenya is active in several sports, among them cricket, rallying, football, rugby, field hockey, and boxing. The country is known chiefly for its dominance in middle distance and long distance athletics, having consistently produced Olympic and Commonwealth Games champions in various distance events, especially in 800m, 1500m, 3000m steeplechase, 5000m, 10000m, and the marathon. Kenyan athletes, particularly Kalenjin, continue to dominate the world of distance running, although competition from Morocco and Ethiopia has reduced this supremacy. Kenya's best-known athletes include the four-time women's Boston Marathon winner and two-time world champion Catherine Enderaba, 800-meter world record holder David Rudisa, former marathon world record holder Paul Turgat, and John Nguji. Kenya won several medals during the Beijing Olympics, six gold, four silver, and four bronze, making it Africa's most successful nation in the 2008 Olympics. New athletes gained attention, such as Pamela Jelamo, the women's 800-meter gold medalist who went on to win the IAAF Golden League jackpot, and Samuel Wanjiru, who won the men's marathon. Kenya has been a dominant force in women's volleyball within Africa, with both the clubs and the national team winning various continental championships in the past decade. The women's team has competed at the Olympics and World Championships, though without any notable success. Cricket is another popular sport, also ranking as the most successful team sport. Kenya has competed in the Cricket World Cup since 1996. They upset some of the world's best teams and reached the semi-finals of the 2003 tournament. They won the inaugural World Cricket League Division 1 hosted in Nairobi and participated in the World T20. They also participated in the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011. Their current captain is Rakep Patel. Rugby is increasing in popularity, especially with the annual Safari Sevens tournament. The Kenya Sevens team ranked ninth in the IRB Sevens World Series for the 2006 season. Thank you for watching this video.